I recently showed you how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Mi A2. And a lot of people unlock the bootloader so that they can install certain mods and tweaks like installing a custom recovery, which enables them to do a whole bunch of things like gaining root access, installing a custom ROM, a custom recovery, and all sorts of stuff. But not everyone wants to keep their phone with a bootloader that is unlocked. And if you end up wanting to sell the Xiaomi Mi A2, some people won't even buy it if the bootloader is unlocked. So today I want to show you how to lock the bootloader of the device. But I want to give you a warning. I want to make sure that you are aware and that you know not to relock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Mi A2 unless it has 100% complete stock software. That means no changes have been made with a root application, no mods have been installed like TWRP, Majisk, or a custom ROM. Do not lock the bootloader unless it is at 100% complete stock software. Stock software meaning the software that came with the phone. The software that is officially made to go on the phone. So a lot of people if you have gone and installed TWRP or installed a custom ROM you're going to want to go through an unbrick or a return to stock guide before you relock the bootloader. Just a heads up, then there could be some bad consequences if you lock the bootloader and the software that is installed on the device is not meant to be on the device. Like if you lock the bootloader while TWRP is installed, there could be some major issues. Be aware of that. You want to be 100% complete stock software that came with the phone that is supposed to be on the phone. So, now that you know that, we can go through with the process. It's very simple if you have unlocked the bootloader. Locking the bootloader is very simple. If you have purchased a used device where the bootloader is unlocked and you want to lock it, again, you, you just need to make sure that it's got the complete stock software go through an unbrick guide I'll be putting up one of those tutorials later and then we want to power off the device we're going to be booting the Xiaomi Mi A2 up into fast boot mode by holding the power and the volume down button while the device is booted off now, if you're unfamiliar with how to do any of this in the tutorial, or if you just want to copy and paste the command that we're about to issue via command prompt, or if you need download links for ADB and Fastboot, be sure to check the full description. I'll have a link to my, tutor my website, which has the full tutorial for this guide. Once you have the device in Fastboot mode, you can connect it to your computer with a USB cable. And then we need to open up a command prompt in the same folder that we have our ADB and Fastboot tools in. So as I mentioned, we need to have a command prompt or even just a Windows PowerShell opened up in the same folder that we have our ADB and Fastboot tools located in. If you've installed minimal ADB and Fastboot tools, that's going to be very easy because it's just going to be a shortcut on your desktop that you can double click and it'll open up a command prompt like this in the exact same installation folder that you, that you need. And from here we're going to type out the command Fastboot space flashing space lock. So before it was flashing space unlock. This time it is fast boot space flashing space lock. 
Now, just like with the unlock process of the bootloader, doing this is going to wipe all of the data you have on your device. Be aware of that. All of your pictures, your games, your videos, all your apps, your app settings, they're all going to be reset when you lock the bootloader. Now I'll be turning the camera's attention back to the phone before pressing enter so you can see the transition that happens on the phone. And again I'll have this command listed on my website in the tutorial but the command is fastboot space flashing space lock. So as I said, we still have that fast boot flashing lock command prepared in our command prompt. We have our Xiaomi Mi A2 connected to the computer with a USB cable. And we're just going to be pressing on the enter key now. And that's going to bring up this warning screen. Just like before. We're going to have two options to choose from. Do not lock the bootloader or lock the bootloader. And then we get a little warning right here. Before it told us if we unlock the bootloader, then we will be able to install custom operating systems. And then we also, again, we're told that is that locking the bootloader, just like unlocking the bootloader, is going to wipe out all of the data we have on our phone. So... Once you are 100% sure that you're ready, we're going to press the volume down button twice. And that is going to highlight the lock the bootloader option because touch is not responsive here. Once the lock the bootloader option is highlighted, we're just going to press the power button to select that option. And as you can see, we're going to see the phone reboot. It's going to go through the erasing process. And then it's going to go through the boot animation sequence that we go through anytime we do a factory reset. Again, because we just erased all the data we had on the device. This first boot cycle is going to take a lot longer than subsequent boot cycles. Like a normal reboot is only going to take, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds. When you do a reboot after doing a factory reset, which is what happens whenever we lock and unlock the bootloader, that first boot cycle is going to take a few minutes. It might take 2 or 3 or even 4 minutes before it finally loads up that Android operating system activation screen. So no need to be worried or paranoid that this process takes longer than normal. It is normal that it takes longer. And as you're following along with me in this guide, you can see exactly how long it will take. Just be patient. You can see now we have gone to the Android activation screen. And I'm just going to skip through all this just so you can see us booted back up into the Android home screen and the Android operating system. And it just took a few seconds to skip through all that. Now we are booted back into Android. Everything has been reset. You're going to see, just like before, whenever we unlocked 
the bootloader. Gboard is going to want to update your typing experience, even if you're not connected to any wireless networks. And the Android setup is going to want to finish doing the setup, meaning it's going to want to finish copying the data, setting the wallpaper, and more. This comes up because I didn't log into my Google account. I didn't do any restore. So you may not see this Android setup process. Notification. And there you have it. That is how to lock, some call it relock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Mi A2 smartphone.